everybody, I'm John Finn, and welcome to another unboxing and review. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, sorry, I don't know what that was. Anyway, yes, we have another Roddy Piper that we're going to unbox, we're going to review today. I am really super duper excited about this one, as you can probably tell. I was really excited to get the... Um, the They Live Piper from the Hollywood Elite uh, series. I'm probably actually a little bit more excited about this guy just because it's the Roddy Piper I most remember in terms of uh, wrestling and things like that. So let's not waste any time. Let's tear open this bad boy and take a look at what we got. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at all that carnage. Look at it. It's beauteous. We're going to throw it away. <laughs> WWE Legends, yeah, whatever. Okay, as always, first thing we're going to do is we're going to pop out these fists. Exact same fists that came with the John Nada or Nada, whatever, however that's pronounced. Um, Hollywood Elite, Roddy Piper. So we're just going to put those right here in the ring. They're even the same skin tone, I think. So, yeah, we got more fists. That's always good. Let's pop the man out. First, let's check to make sure he's not tied in. He is not tied in in any way, unlike yesterday's figures. Man, come out. No, I like it here. There we go. Okay. Oh my gosh, he looks. That shirt looks really good out of the package. Okay, let's do the first thing, which is our articulation check. Shoulders are way too tight. Okay, so we're gonna do that next after we take off the accessories. Then uh, we can see it's got the Rowdy Roddy Piper. T-shirt here. It's a pretty good graphic for the size and, and cost for the figure. The figure is only 20 bucks. Comes with, oh, and it's Velcroed in the back as the same as the kilt. Comes with the kilt. Looks much, I think, much better than the kilt that came with the previous Roddy Piper because that one was not soft goods and this one is. And in my opinion, soft goods will always, always uh, be better than than non-soft goods so let's go ahead and let's take some of this stuff off of him real quick here comes the shirt Woo! and then we'll take the kilt off here and we're just gonna throw it up there and let's take a closer look at mr piper okay shoulder left shoulder really tight on that first but then it loosens up after you get the the, the first movement and the right shoulder same deal. Super tight, but starts to move once you get it moving. Um, disappointed, still single-jointed elbows. They're not double-jointed like the new elites are, but um, that's that's all right. He's got his signature blue trunks. Got some really nice boots. I like these boots with the RP on the side. And this is the Roddy Piper I remember most. Um, yeah, wrestling growing up. Great ab crunch back and forth. Uh, perfect swivel movement. Same problem with the head on the John Nada. It doesn't go too far back because of the mullet, but it has fine side to side and pretty good motion going forward. We check his split. Oh, his right hip is very tight, but he splits pretty, pretty good, about as good as the Hulk Hogan Ultimate Edition, and both of his knees move without any issue at all. Now, let's take a closer look at his face. I actually like this face a lot more than I thought I would when I first saw the images of it. It looks a lot more like Piper than I anticipated it looking. It's still not perfect. I do like this one's face sculpt a bit better than my John Nada because the eyes on the John Nada are off-center. You can see how they've been painted slightly to the right of where they actually should be, so that's really distracting. Originally, I was going to use this head sculpt on this figure uh, but I might actually do the opposite for the comic. But we'll see. We will see. Um, how do they compare in terms of height? They're the exact same. Uh, there is no appreciable difference between the two of them. The John Nada may be a little, like, just the slightest bit taller. Um, but that, you could easily account for that in the, the boots and things like that. So that's not that big of a deal. Um, that's not a deal killer. It's definitely nothing like the, the Hulk Hogan situation we had yesterday where he was almost a full inch taller than his Survivor Series Elite. So this is doing a much better job than the Ultimate Edition uh, Survivor Series Elite comparison. Uh, they both look great. I, I'm really happy with both of these purchases. Um, I don't know what one of these two is probably going to be my figure of the year, if I'm being honest. I mean, Roddy Piper was the original anti-hero 
wrestler guy. He was Steve Austin before he was Steve. There was you know Stone Cold, I should say, because Steve Austin has been around for longer than that. But anyway, um, he he would break the rules to get what he had to do to win. And um, sometimes he was a heel back before I was really into wrestling. But after that, he was just always a face, at least to me. And when he won the Intercontinental Championship, as I talked about in my review of the John Nada figure, it was such a huge moment for me and my brother, because our favorite wrestler, we had both decided it was Roddy Piper, even though he was more of a Bret Hart guy and I was more of a Hulk Hogan guy. But we both agreed that Piper was probably the best in the business because he was just always exciting when you saw him in the ring. He had this charisma and this way to just lead you along and you were just ready to go wherever Roddy Piper wanted to take you. And it, it's really something. I remember um, as a kid, they had a show at a local, uh, one of the locals, a little house show, and he was in the main event. I can't remember who he was wrestling, but man, the crowd was so hot for him that night. It was huge. I mean, huge. And he was just soaking it up. It was great. Anyway, um, I hope this told you something about the figure. It's really great. I love this thing. I'm really excited to work him into the comic. It's probably going to, I'm actually going to be changing storylines actively. Um, and he's probably going to be in not, he's not going to be in the next issue or the one after that, but probably the one after that, because I'm focusing on the individual promotions, uh, for each issue. So the next issue is going to be TVW issue after that's probably going to be GWA and then WWA will come after that. And that is where he has been put on the roster. So, Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something about the figure and whether or not you want to get it. And just P.S. You do want to get it. It's definitely awesome. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, keep collecting the way you like to collect, whether that's keeping your figures mock, whether that's opening them to play with them or display them, whether you like to destroy the packaging or whether or not you like to uh, keep the packaging as intact as possible. Just keep doing it the way that makes you happy and don't let anybody else tell you how to collect things. Until next time, I'm John Finn, and I'm out.